I had a lovely old bandmaster who uh, took me under his wing and, and uh, really gave me a great appreciation for a lot of the repertoire of the music. Really, by about age 12, I never wanted to do anything else, and that's pretty much how it's worked out. I started collecting cornets, uh, early cornets, 19th century cornets. Um, some of the, um, my favourite playing instruments are actually some of my cornets. Once I had a few cornets, I wanted to get something a bit earlier. So the predecessor of the cornet, which was the, uh, the cornopian, which uh, has a slightly different valve system. And from there, really, I'm just trying to go further and further back before the valve was invented. So looking at keyed instruments, keyed bugles, keyed trumpets. This is what's referred to as a keyed trumpet. And this is one of uh, only a couple of such instruments uh, in Australia. The idea with this instrument was they put woodwind style keys on the trumpet with vent holes and little nodal points so that you could actually raise or lower the pitch of the notes that the natural trumpet could make. I love the stories behind the instruments, knowing that it's been uh, played a hundred years earlier by someone in a completely, you know, probably different part of the world and in a completely different walk of life. It's called a demi-loon trumpet. As you can see, it's uh, in a half-moon shape, which was needed so that you could actually stick your hand inside the bell and change the notes so that you could add some extra notes to the scale. This uh, particular instrument is the instrument I use the most. It's a Baroque trumpet. Uh, one of my great passions is to actually perform period music on the period instruments. So for me, that's the uh, main impetus behind collecting. The trumpet's just one of the most versatile instruments. It doesn't matter whether it's, you know, big band swing or Baroque music or classical music, the trumpet's always there. <laughs> 